tourists are still checking in around Kelowna, despite the not so sunny Okanagan weather. Our hotel numbers for the month of July, uh, we've already surpassed what we did last July with a few days left to go, uh, which is, uh, you know, is a good sign. And we're just waiting for it to hit. You know, historically, uh, things seem to happen after the Calgary Stampede, but uh, you know, weather's a factor. We just haven't seen the droves of people yet, so hopefully they're still coming in August. The beaches in Kelowna attract thousands of visitors, but this year people are looking into what else the city has to offer. Thankfully, uh, Kelowna is... You know, a de has enough enough depth as a destination that it can provide lots of different activities to do. So, on a rainy day, people might choose to go to the cultural district, check out the museums. They might choose to do winery tours where they're more indoors. Um, you know, so there's lots of different types of things that people will do besides being out on the water. But certainly, anyone that um, has a water-based or outdoor-based uh, activity will see the effect because of because of the weather. It's true, businesses who depend on sunshine for sales are seeing a decline because of July's dreary weather. It's um, very up and down, every day is different, but I just think because our summer hasn't been consistent, I'm coming out to work regardless because who knows, right? It can start really good and then all of a sudden the heavens open up and it's time to go home, but you don't know until you try, so it's very frustrating. Um, it's been very, very slow. Um, we had a very slow start and even now and in July, uh, where we should be super busy, I believe that um, my husband was saying we're doing maybe 15% of what we should be doing at this time. Maybe August will finally be the start to a month of summer, as the long weekend will bring more than just festival goers for the center of gravity. The forecast is calling for sunshine and temperatures in the low 30s. Jen Zielinski in Kelowna for Castanet News.